YouTube and welcome to a huge update video. Oh my god, this update is huge. So, let me just read off what everything is going to be changed and then I will show you all the shop um, stuff. So, here I'm going to show you all the changes. So, starting with the general changes. Um, so, a couple of bugs are fixed like dropping inventory on death. Um, the castle protection on Dragon Keep for the blue team was fixed. Um, the message withers are no longer enraged doesn't show anymore at 40 minute marker. You can use your compass now while standing on a pressure plate. Draws don't spam the chat and you can't kill people after a draw happens. I know that happened to a bunch of people. Endermen can no longer teleport before the walls fall. Uh, you can't not, you can't use your teleport on a dead player, and oh my god, that affected me so much. In these past recordings, you'll see me teleporting to people that are dead. Like, it's so weird. Um, the creeper's detonate ability also doesn't deal damage to players that are dead. So, issues with overwritten speed effects, like having speed 2 and speed 3, that's all fixed. Uh, skeleton salvaging arrow duplicating bug where you would shoot arrows at the wall and then pick them up. It's, it's fixed now, I think. Uh, the wither skulls from your own wither don't knock you back. Uh, health potions show how many hearts they will heal. Um, you can now travel six blocks higher than the build limit. Uh, that's fixing issues with being hit in the travel limit and not being able to fight properly. And I know as a sky baser, I've had that issue. Uh, this also prevents false no knockback accusations when you're standing next to a world border and you don't get knocked back and people think you're an anti-knockback hacker. That can also fix that. Uh, the order of kit items when spawning is now more consistent. Uh, so sometimes you will get a speed potion instead of the health potion. Now that's fixed. Uh, the strength buff on respawning now lasts for 7 seconds instead of 10, so it's not like uh, you can just come out of spawn and kill people easily. Uh, coins for wither rushing have been increased to 1 coin per 1 damage, and let me tell you, that is insane for a Dreadlord player that I am. Being a Dreadlord player, if I hit a wither down 200 health, before I would get like 50 coins. Now I'm going to get 200 coins, that is a big big change in itself and I'm very happy they did that. So Ender Chest has been added to the shop for 10,000 coins for regular classes and 15,000 for hero classes and I'll go to that a little bit later about the Ender Chest. Uh, the slash kill bu uh, command is now um, have a cooldown of one minute instead of five minutes and players get hunger effect in deathmatch if they are lower than 32 blocks or higher than 59 blocks. Now I don't know exactly what this means about being inside or outside of bases but you may not take hunger if you're outside of the middle as long as you're not um above 32 blocks or uh, below 32 blocks or above 59 and now for the specific changes um custom health potions so this is a big change so most classes are going to keep their standard health pots which heal eight hearts but certain classes like the hero brine instead of receiving one health pot it, it's going to receive two which heal six and Zombie is going to receive still the 1, but it's going to give them 10 health. And same with Pigman, their potions are going to be 10 health. So you can view the healing of these in the lobby and in-game, it's going to show. Shaman Tornado has been fixed. Um, previous issues with it not dealing any damage. Um, now it'll move towards blocks and uh, move forward 5 blocks. And it'll travel up 6 blocks. And... It won't break any blocks, but it will continue to toss blocks in the air, which was um, a little bug. It used to not bring them into the air, but now it's going to. So the teleport skill for Enderman. This is huge. Enderman no longer gets speed on their teleport. And that in itself, I think that... Okay, it, it, it's very... I, I don't like it personally, but something that they have fixed about the teleport is now you can teleport directly upwards. So that in itself might like counter the fact that you can't get speed, but still, I think that is a very odd change, considering Enderman wasn't that OP. Now the Enderman only receives 20 energy per hit, so it's going to take 5 hits instead of 4 to get your ability. Um, once you teleport out of spawn, you'll lose your strength and resistance, and on a good side, they, um, they fix the issues with the potion duplicating, 
and diamonds disappearing when your under chest activated. And this is actually a good thing. I'm happy they did. When your under chest ability activates, any armor that you're wearing moves to your inventory. And I think that's big because I hated losing all my armor. Like, what's the point of under chest if you're not getting what you need? Um, so zombie, the kit nine is now eight, the kit eight is going to give an iron chest plate instead of diamond with protection too. Um, and it only gets two speed potions at eight and uh, nine. It's the same. Hero Brian is now going to receive twenty energy per hit. Also nerfed like Enderman was. Um, kit eight and nine now give the two health potions for six healing. Its alternate skill effect cannot damage or knock back people anymore. Pigman is now going to receive 10 energy per second. The Valor ability gives regeneration 1 to the Pigman as well as regeneration 1 and resistance to all teammates. The Gathering talent is buffed from 10% to 70% to 30% to 100%. You can't find chest plates in chests anymore. The health potion on Kid 8 and 9 now heals 10 instead of 8. And the bubble ability now deals 1 to 3 HP per second. Uh, Dreadlord now receives 12 energy per hit. Uh, the radius of its explosion uh, was nerfed from 10 blocks to 3 blocks. So you're going to have to be very accurate when shooting your uh, Dreadlord ability. Strength from the Soul Eater lasts 1 second less than the regeneration. So you get 6, cents of, six seconds of regen and 5 of strength once you get it to max. Uh, now you receive energy from bow hits. So if you get hit by somebody, you get 12 energy. That's very, very cool. I like that a lot. Uh, the creeper, uh, not much changing. Its willpower ability has a cooldown of 15 seconds, which is the speed two when you're less than four hearts, I believe. And the detonate range was buffed from 50 to five. Damage over range buffed also. Uh, the Enderman, I just went over that. The Skeleton, the Kit 8 and 9 now receives an Iron Axe, Unbreaking 1 and Efficiency 1. And Agile, the the ability when you hit somebody with an arrow, you get speed and regen. Now it's only giving regen regeneration 1 instead of 2. And the Shaman, the Gathering Talent, now is dropping coal, um, like the actual ingots instead of the coal ores. And the Heroism, which is the weakness, has a 17% chance to activate instead of 13%. Kit 7 now receives only one health potion instead of two. The And the tornado rework, which I talked about. The Arcanist, the beam width is doubled, so it's much easier to hit people with. The iron punch changed on the golem to deal four to eight um, health per damage, which is not affected by armor. The iron, the iron heart... Um, now gives absorption 2, which is plus 4 hearts for 2 to 12 seconds. So it's not as consistent. Uh, it's not as long as it used to be, and it's not as uh, it's not as strong as it used to be. So good nerf for the golem. Not, it's still true damage on the iron punch, but it's a little... It, it's better than it used to be, I'll say that much. The blaze now receives 5 energy per second. Uh, the fire arrow now applies slowness 2 to two to the enemy instead of one fire arrow has a 10 to 30 percent chance to activate the gathering talent now works in deathmatch uh, fireballs now deal up to 4.6 damage instead of 4.4 time between fireballs for the ability has been decreased by 50 percent spawn blazes which is the call to blazes ability now shoot a fireball every three seconds dealing four hp damage armor not affected so additionally the aim is improved so that blaze just got a huge buff um i'm I'm a little nervous to see how that's going to go. But even more crazy is the spider, which well deserved a buff, got a huge one. Here it is. It's going to receive 7 energy per second as opposed to 6. It's now going to get um 2 hearts of absorption after using its leap ability. That's huge. The leap is now applying slowness for 4 seconds instead of 3. So it's a better chaser than Enderman is now. The range of the leap was increased by a block. So again, it can chase way better than Enderman. The drop shock, instead of dealing 200% of damage that they took to the enemy, it's dealing 300% of the damage. And on top of that, the damage it's dealing is true damage. Holy crap. And it's gonna affect through slabs now. It's not, it doesn't matter if they're standing on a slab, it'll affect them through that. The maximum dealt damage is a little less than it used to be, 
but still, the true damage throws it way over what it used to be. Plus, it's 300% now. And, and now you get iron ingots from dirt, gravel, sand, grass blocks, and mycelium. I don't even know what that is. Those are all the updates right now, and holy crap, that's a lot of updates. That was... That's crazy. That's just so many updates. And, there's a new map, Hades. So, I'll see you in that game.